Good morning, foodies. We are in Thessaloniki, Greece, and we are getting breakfast. We um, are grabbing some bugatza and pies. Of course, we're in Greece, that's what we're gonna do. We are at Bugatza Gianni's here in Thessaloniki. They are known for their bugatza with cream. So we're gonna these guys to try this morning and see how they are. Mmm, that's really good. See, need another bite. Mm -hmm. We got some cinnamon and sugar on these. So bugatza, you might think is a very dessert thing because it's cream custard pastry. It's actually a breakfast thing here in Thessaloniki, and it's where bugatza originated from, northern Greece. All right, let's try some other pies. Here. Oh, and by the way, I found a new coffee place. Coffee Lab has the best frappe. It's better than Coffee Island. All right, so what do we have here, Shannon? Uh, meat, spinach, and cheese. So we got some spinach, um, cheese, spinach, and meat here. Let's try the meat first. I haven't had a meat one yet here in Greece, so let's go with this guy. Let's go. Mmm. That's different. It's very good. <laughs> of course it's good. I'm not sure what spices are in this, but it's like a minced meat. With a feel of, like sausage almost. It's really good. And then everyone's favorite, spinach pies. Looks like it's just straight up spinach and some maybe oregano in it. Let's see. He put oregano on top. See? I know my oregano. Mmm. Something much just straight spinach, no feta, nothing like that, no extra herbs. Really good. Just the basics. Now my favorite, cheese bugatta. I was a fan of this since we were in Crete and it's become my favorite pie. So let's see how this one is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Much better for breakfast. I'm not a sweets person for breakfast, so the the custard bugatza, not my kind of thing, but the cheese bugatza for breakfast, it's my jam. But really good pies here. I like this place. What's the street run here? No clue. I'll make sure I put the address in the description box below. All right, guys, that's um, Bugatta Gianni's, and we'll uh, see you guys the next place. foodies we just uh did a nice sightseeing of the town we went for lunch we didn't record it so we're going to do this now uh there's too much noise happening and we had a little mess up and then zeus decided to pit rain on us while we were about to film this video so we had to wait for that and i'll show you right now what it looks like on screen a little bit exciting car went through a puddle got me soaking wet so we got up under some trees so after a sightseeing tour of thessaloniki we jumped on the hop on hop off bus we decided to go to a restaurant we went to yesterday for lunch when we got in. We were too tired to film the video then, um, and we weren't sure what it was gonna be like, so we just sat down and tried it. Fortunately, I did record some video while I was there, but I wasn't in the mood, I was tired, we had a long travel day. So what we had, what was what was the name of the place? Uh, Tresmezi. Tresmezi, I'll put the location in the description. Uh, the best Greek food you can find in Thessaloniki. The people there were like two mothers feeding you food. Like, they're like, they came in, we came in, they asked us if we wanted to see the menu. Everything was in Greek, so she's like, I'll explain everything to you. She showed us the buffet of food she had prepared for that day. Uh, and I guess it changes daily depending on what she has uh, locally to uh, make. Uh, so we ordered some Chenard stuffed peppers. I ordered some moussaka. No, sorry, I ordered- um, Pasticcio. Pasticcio. And then we ordered a side of Greek salad. The food was amazing. It was like grandma made your dinner for you that day and it was really well priced. Everything was pretty, like I think my meal was six, Shannon's was six. I think the, the salad was five euros, really well priced. This food was amazing. And on top of that, the hospitality of these two ladies, they came out and they were so excited. They asked where we're from and they were, they were surprised that we even ate there. Cause when she's like, she showed us the food and then told us what it was, she was kind of, she was like, do you guys still want to eat here? And we're like, yes, definitely. She was so happy and then she's like, where are you guys from? We're like, we're from Canada. She came out and gave us a little dessert after our meal was done. It was a, um, it was like candied uh, figs, like a jam compost, but it was the whole fig. It was really tasty. It'd be really good on some ice cream. These two ladies just came out talking to us constantly and it was awesome. It was, it was the most friendly experience I've had in the restaurant. One of the best places I've had. Make sure you check these guys out. They're amazing. So we had them yesterday. 
we were gonna go back today and do an actual video and they were closed today. I guess they take Saturdays off. So with that said, we had a friend or a, a tour bus, our tour driver from uh, our trip to Nephleon told us of a great place because he's from up in this area of Greece, a great place in Thessaloniki and it was called... Um, Semprico? It was called Semprico. Now, we decided to go there. We were gonna go there for lunch, but we went there to go um, make reservations for tonight. And he's like, we're busy, we're fully booked. We have one table you can have for the next hour. So we decided to have our supper early and have our lunch later. So we went there, we ordered a taco salad. Uh, so this one had a, your feta cheese. It wasn't mazithra, it was feta, uh, your, your rusk, uh, diced tomatoes and some uh, shredded tomatoes with some capers and olives. It was actually really good, really flavorful. And then we also ordered a second side or a second appetizer, which was grilled vegetable, a yellow pita, which I'm not sure, it might be turmeric in there to make it that yellow or some kind of corn maze, I'm not sure. Really good though. And then they gave us like, it was almost like a goat feta. It was really creamy and tart and just really good. That was our appetizers. And then we ordered a pork belly. Now, that was amazing. It was a pork belly uh, that was slow roasted for four hours with a, um, a celery root. I think you said it was celery. No, parsley root. Parsley root. Parsley root. Pure, pure, no, a parsley root puree with a uh, maple vinaigrette drizzled all over the top of it. Oh, you'll, you'll see it here. This video, it was so good. Like I'm a big fan of slow roasted pork. Just the caramelization of the the fat and the meat, and then you got the sweet and savory from the the celery root puree and the uh, the maple. You know, throwback. Okay. Well, throwback, to, throwback to Canada with the maple syrup. Hold on one sec. All right, guys, we had to move the video over. There's a fly under the tree and it's driving us nuts. Um, so yeah, that, that meal was amazing. And then at the end of dessert, they, I thought in Greece, you'll notice they'll give you a complimentary dessert at most places, not all, but they gave us a panna cotta with a homemade compote of berries. Whew, really good. Had some real vanilla in there. That's what I'm talking about. But in the end, that was a great, great lunch. And I highly recommend if you do come to Thessaloniki, give it a try. You will not be disappointed. Make sure you call in and give a reservation or go there and give a reservation because it looks like they do get fully booked pretty quickly. Because when we arrived, the place was empty. Within five minutes of sitting down, the place was booked. And I guess they were all with reservations except for the one table we had. We're going to have Euros for dinner. We picked out a place that was for lunch, but unfortunately we had to go there first. Now we're having lunch for supper, a little mixing around, but hey, we're on vacation. That's what happens. Nothing's perfect. We're going to get some Euros for dinner and uh, we're also going to check out some dessert places while we're here. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next place. All right, foodies, we just survived the thunderstorm of Zeus. We decided to go on a little cruise on a pirate ship for the afternoon before we got some afternoon dessert. So this is like pre-dinner dessert, afternoon snack from all of our walking and exploring today. We don't usually do this, but when we're on vacation. So Thessaloniki is known for these guys. They're horns of phyllo filled with pastry cream. Look at that boy, look at that. It looks, it's sticky, crispy. It's like the best thing I've ever seen. So I've had one down in um, Heraklion. It was really good. So let's see what this one uh, compares to. Mmm, very good. The pastry cream is really smooth and sweet and it contrasts to the crunchy outside of the filo. I'm a fan of this dessert. I really wonder how they make the pie, the cones. I gotta figure that out. Once I figure that out, I'm gonna start filling with all kinds of stuff. So, I forgot to mention, we're at Papa Satrio, I think it's called. Um, I would put it on the map, but it's not in the maps. But it's down by the waterfront, a block or two up. By this guy. By the statue, right next to it. Show a picture of it. That's the place there. That's the place there. That's where we're to. So, either way, we bought a couple desserts, so we're gonna try all. So we also got a vanilla cream horn. It's the bad boy. So it's filled with whipped cream around a, uh, I think it's like a pastry crust, pastry horn. Oh, did you eat napkin? No. That's really good. It's just straight up pastry. It's almost like a pop cakey kind of thing. Wrapped and filled with cream, whipped cream. And then we got this thing. Can you do in one bite? Don't you dare. One bite. This is Shannon's, but I'm gonna steal a bite of it. It's a chocolate eclair. A little taste here, or the whole thing. Well, Shannon, it's not whipped cream in the middle. Good, proper. 
It's actually the filling it's supposed to be in there. Canadians screw it up. And then we also got Greek rice. So it's like a, a rice made with milk, eggs, and it's chilled. It's a like rice pudding essentially with cinnamon on it. Mm. It's like grandma used to make when I was younger, rice pudding. A little al dente though. Oh, each piece of rice got a little bite to it. Mm. It's good, but I think the rice is undercooked on that guy. Like a hard crunch every couple bites. Which is not the best thing when you're eating rice pudding. With a nice velvety smooth texture. Like there's al dente rice and there's it's got bites though. That's a little a little too much. So we'll put that one aside. And then we got what is this, Shannon? You picked out, I don't even know what it is. Uh I think it's like a chocolate covered chocolate salami, I think. Chocolate covered chocolate salami. So for people who don't know, chocolate salami is like a chocolate uh, dessert with uh, pieces of cookie in it and they make it look like salami, so. No, that's not it. It's not? Intriguing. So. What is it? What we, she thought it was, was it's a log of chocolate that has cookie bits throughout it. And they slice it like salami. So it actually looks like a piece of salami, the chocolate version. This is more like a Joe Louis. Got it's cake, like chocolate, a Joe Louis. Oh. It's got like a cake and a, a mousse filling. Oh, okay. It's soft? It's soft. It actually tastes like a Joe Louis. Either way, guys, this is our little afternoon snack dessert. Uh, let's try it out while we're here in the dessert capital of um, Greece. We're going to have uh, Euros in a little bit. We're going to go for another little walk and then grab some Euros and we'll see you guys there. All right, foodies. We are at um, Pisu, I think it's called. It's uh, right here. Yeah, I think I'm not wrong or right, I don't know. Um, so we're here for Euros tonight. We ordered a big Euro. And whatever this monstrosity is, it's like half a loaf of bread with a ton of meat in it. Shannon got a little excited, maybe over ordered a bit. We also got some um, fried zucchini balls. And I don't know why I did, but I ordered fries. I'm not sure why I ordered fries, because it comes to fries. You know, doing that tourist thing and over ordering, right? All right, so let's start. I'm, I'm, I want to try yours. Shannon's monstrous, giant. <laughs> look, look, get a picture of this, Shannon. <laughs> oh, the meat's really good though. It's really tasty meat. I don't know how to like. It's hollowed out half a loaf. It looks, looks like sourdough. Like, look at that. I mean, the only real way to eat this is with a fork and just hollow it out with meat. All right, let's let's give this a try. <laughs> All right. Mmm. That bread is really good. Um, the meat's really tasty too. My only complaint is I can't get my mouth open wide enough to get around it. So I think the plan of attack here is to pieces of meat so we get it down to a normal amount of us until the normal amount of um, mouth opening ability. The best way to eat this is eat the meat first and then dive into the bread later. All right, let's give Jen her food back. Cause I ordered something more sensibly sized. Whatever, bring it. Let's eat my more sensible sized wrap. Like, that's still pretty massive. Oh, fries going everywhere. All right, I thought this was, this one is yours. <gasps> okay guys, so apparently I thought I ordered a wrap. I thought this was mine. This is mine. I thought traditional bread would be this, not this. So when you're ordering, what was this called? A sandwich. This is called a sandwich. This is called the traditional bread. See how you can get confused? So let's <laughs> put this back. Stop eating my food, Shannon. Because I guess I have to eat that now. You ate a couple of mine, so I get a couple. So she got ketchup on hers. Yeah. Eh, okay, sure. It's actually just a lucky. It's not shaved meat. Well, yeah, I ordered this maki. Actually, that should have been our first hint. We weren't thinking. Catch up, I don't know. All right, let's give this a dive. We lost a fry. It's okay, we're not short of fries. I mean, it's okay. A lot of fries in it. But I think, I'm not taking the ketchup, Shannon. Like the ketchup's a little too much for me. Oh look, there's a tomato in there too. The bread's really good. It's almost like semolina on the outside, it's kind of crunchy. 
There was a lot of cabs right next to us making a lot of noise. Great. That wrap is good. It's okay. It's it's a Slovakia wrap, it's not a Euro. So you're actually happy you got this one though? I'm happy I got it, but that's a lot of food. <laughs> All right. All right, so now we have zucchini fritters. I'm pretty sure these are not homemade. I'm pretty sure they're frozen. Same thing with the fries. Not homemade, but it's a lot of food for the price. Like, what was this? Five euros? That was three, four sixty. Mine was three thirty. Four sixty. Four sixty for all that. I mean, yeah. Uh, zucchini fritters look more like. Um, they look more like. Um, what's it called? Falafel. Yeah. yeah. It tastes like falafel. This is more falafel than zucchini fritter, guys. I mean, it doesn't taste bad, but hanging a zucchini fritter, not what I'm expecting. Guys, for anything, just come to try this monstrosity out. Like, look at this, this is crazy. Like, it's worth it for this. The wrap's okay, nothing to write home about. It's 350 or 450 for a wrap. 330. 330 for a wrap. It's a good price, it'll fill you up if you're trying to eat cheap. But this, come for this, this is, this is my baby now. I really thought, like, be careful on that menu. You think you're ordering a wrap, you're ordering this. So sandwich, not a sandwich. Traditional bread, you expect to be a pita. Either way. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed our time at Thessaloniki with us. We got some other videos coming up soon. I hope you give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys at our next location or in the kitchen making some more awesome recipes.